tasked with delivering justice. Sean Coffey has more. It's the thing I miss the most about hearing her voice is hearing her laugh. Rob Steele's fiance Mary was one of five people murdered that day, less than three weeks before she and Rob were set to marry. One year later, the wound remains, but Rob says the humanity he's been shown in the aftermath helped save him. The people who had no idea who I was, other than I lost somebody important to me who cooked meals and dropped them off at my house, donated money, took the time to reach out to me on Facebook. This past week, it was announced 16-year-old Austin Thompson will be tried as an adult in the massacre. Five counts of murder headlining a slate of felony charges. Wake County's lead prosecutor says that day served as a wake-up call. I think we all had hoped that Raleigh would be immune. Uh, and I think what we learned on that day is that none of us are you know, safe or immune from the possibility of there being a mass shooting in our community. Freeman says it also serves as a cautionary tale about keeping guns away from kids. The safe storage of guns, the making sure that minors don't have access to firearms is, is you know, a critical issue and it's one that I hope the legislature will pay attention to and do something about. That won't bring back the people lost last October 13th, but Rob says Mary's spirit still burns bright. How do you keep her memory alive? I talk to her almost every day. Um, it felt silly at first to be, you know, sitting in a chair on the back patio with a fire burning and, and you know, just look up at the sky and talk to her, but I just, I, I continued and it doesn't feel silly anymore. And that was Sean Coffey with that story. We will have live coverage of today's memorial right here on Eyewitness News and streaming on the ABC 11 North Carolina app.